Oh, right, my friends, it's Krebsy. We're playing some World of Tanks. <laughs> I'm in my T1 Heavy on Mountain Pass. And, oh, wow, this game. Uh, this game. Guys, just, just, just this game. <laughs> it, it's, it's ridiculous, all right? Uh, it, it's it's going to feature a lot of hot shit. A lot of really good stuff. Um, and maybe by the end of it, you'll say, Ah, Krebs, you were just playing against newbies and whatnot. But in my defense, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this tank is like half stock, all right? I've got the upgraded turret. I don't have the best cannon. I, I have a stock engine. Uh, so... I, I like to say that, in some respects, it was a good game. Alright, here we go. So, I decided to head along the northern side of Mountain Pass rather than down south and in the middle and whatnot. I just don't like generally going into the middle, especially if I have a slower tank. And if I did have a choice, I'd probably go down south or stay up here. But I decided, I'm gonna go up here because no one else is. I get to have some fun. <laughs> and lo and behold, Panzer 3 slash 4, I don't even know what he was doing. He just was backing off, and I guess he was crapping himself so bad that he just didn't want to shoot. I, I don't even know. I really don't know, even know why he didn't shoot at me. Did he load no ammo or something? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But he didn't fire at me at all for whatever reason. Finished our Chiha off, and that's already two kills. Now, I'm heading down forward when I look at the map and I realize... Crap. South side has crumbled. We could keep on pushing north side and go to their base, but generally speaking, I know what these games are like. It's kind of better to be on the safe side than the riskier side, because you put in high risk, but at the same time, it's high risk, uh, big reward. And if, if, if that risk doesn't turn out in your favor, then, you know, you can die and that's it. So I decided to be a bit more cautious on the safe side. I'm going to head back up north. And my KV-1 head down south and he eventually died. So, just goes to show that playing on the safe side, well, it definitely did pay off. So now our team has been royally screwed over. A lot of people have died. The middle has collapsed and here is Krebsy all by himself to defend the oncoming horde of attackers with this RT. <laughs> my teammate RT just huddled on the side there. He's just pissing himself. He doesn't want to move. <laughs> you can see him in B1, right? He's just, he's just, he's pooping himself right now. And here comes a BDR flying around the corner, massive shot on me. Oh my gosh. Oh, so much damage. And it's unfortunate that this, I have the, not the best cannon on this uh, thing, because I'm not doing the maximum amount of damage, I'm not doing my maximum amount of penetration, and not my maximum amount of rate of fire as well. Oh god, no! I gave you one as well, my day is ruined! Uh, this isn't looking good. Oh my. Just do as much damage as you can, Krebsy. Come on. Side armor shots. Right between the tracks. You can do it. You're still bouncing. Keep jiggling that tank around. Wiggle. Shit, a Stug is coming in. You got no health. Damage him. Quick. No, <laughs> no way. You guys just got to appreciate what is happening here. I'm just going to be silent for a few seconds. Oh, gosh. Oh man, five kills. Can you believe that? Despite all odds, <laughs> three tags, full health, and near enough, and I'm still standing. <laughs> that just came together all perfectly. That was a lot of luck, but it just came together. All the all the planets in the sky aligned. The Stug came flying in, damaged him, he got damaged by his teammate in the rear end, and then he collided into me, destroying himself, taking some of my HP, but then he gave me cover, he could, he protected my, my, my vulnerable belly from any other oncoming attacks, and my turret's generally okay, it's upgraded. <laughs> and three guys down. Now, there's just a VK2001D over here, and he's, he's scared, uh... It feels a bit smarter, I don't know. If he came flying in with when he had full HP, he could have probably taken me out if he hit me in the side, but he decided to back off. My RT hit him. Really good shot by the RT. Uh, good job, Grilla, over there. And now there's three enemy members on the uh, enemy team left. And so I'm thinking to myself, what do I do now? I've got an RT that's north side. I could go down the bridge into the middle or down south. 
if I go the bridge, uh, I don't... <laughs> I guess it could be a direct way there, but at the same time, I, I sort of wanted to come in from flanking ways, and that's what I've been doing this whole this whole game, going from, from flanks, essentially. And then I noticed... Shit. Those guys on the map, they're moving around. That RT up north is dead. Uh, I spotted an RT over here in the middle, so I might as well go for him. And I, I'm just going crazy. I can't believe that my 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 cannon is is bouncing off of an artillery. Really, off of a priest. I I didn't think it had so heavy armor in the front, but I'm just moving back and forth. So because I, I, I detract him, I just I'm just not sure if he can get a clear shot on me. And and that's why I was spam shotting there quite a bit because I was so nerve it was so nerve wracking. I didn't know if I was gonna die in a second or not. Uh, but luckily that didn't happen. So rather than continuing on uh, over down south or even working my way around from the middle up north, uh, I decided to head directly back, back to my base because I could use the side of the mountain as cover. And I pointed on the map like, RT, please, please could just go up north with me and look at what's going on. Yes, the tank destroyer is on top of the hill. He's got a perfect shot on our RT. And yes, the RT is dead. Great. It's like a game of chess, and I'm almost at checkmate. I'm at check right now. I'm not a checkmate. <sighs> How am I going to turn this from a 2v1 in chess down to a 1v1? Well, he's on top of me, and you know what they say about height or altitude advantages or height advantages? He's above me. Luckily for me, my turret can actually has a pretty good gun elevation. I'm trying to use this rock, this big slab of rock right here. Uh, to, to work it because I'm hoping that he'll maybe dive down the side of the cliff face and then into the rock and then he'll be really easy pickings oh no oh that was so close that window of opportunity right there just missed it so he's he's playing it safe I'm playing it safe and this is gonna become a stalemate but it's it's not in my it's not in my favor it's 2v1 that RT you can see it on the map the last position he was seen at was over at their base he could be moving on me right now so I'm trying to move forward to, to shoot at him but at the same time I'm exposing myself so I decided well okay I've got to back off a little bit because he could come rushing down this hill right now but look I can't see him so hopefully he can't see me as well now I'm gonna go along this south side or this bottom side of the hill come up along the left hand side over here and start turning around to face my armor my frontal armor to him I'm hoping that if I go up this hill, he'll be up there. What? We're being capped? It's him! It's him! He went flying down the mountain! He went flying down the side of the mountain. Oh, he missed his shot! <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. I, th I think he must have had some really big nerves there as well, because he just spam shot it and totally missed me. And so I'm up to seven kills. Now, predicament, RT could easily, could easily be at their spawn right now. Or or he could be coming to me. But you can see on the timer, I don't have a lot of time. My tank is slow. I've only got the, I've got the stock engine on this. What am I to do? Either I could wait for him to come and he might never come and it'll be a draw. Or I could take a risk and go to their base. In which case, I could try to outcap them which it probably wouldn't happen because I'm so slow, or I could try to destroy them. So I was sort of hoping to myself that, yeah, he's gonna be a pansy, you know, he's, but you can see that he's uh, red efficiency, he's not, not that great at the game. Uh, so maybe he's just gonna be camping in his base. <laughs> but look at this, he came all the way to my base. And so you can look at the timer. I mean, if the, the time was going on more, they would have won, but you can look at the timer, it, it's not. Uh, no, there's not enough time on the clock for any of us to win. And so that's just a GG. <laughs> oh man, what an epic game, but it, it turned out to be a draw. I mean, how many times do you get draws, right? I suppose it's better than a loss, anyway. Uh, <laughs> and I managed to get the Master Tanker. I was so worried that I wouldn't get it. I was like, oh wow, this is such an epic game. Maybe I need a win in order to get it, but <laughs> lucky me. Managed to still get the Master Tanker and a whole load of batches. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. Until the next one, this is Krebsy. 
and I will catch you all.